<laughs> so there's all 150 chicks. Happy as can be. Hey there guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Heather and in today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to take care of baby chicks. We'll set everything up and then we'll take you along as we go to the post office to pick them all up. So we have 150 Cornish Cross chicks coming tomorrow. Um, so that's the most chicks we've ever gotten at one time. When we do our meat chickens, we usually do batches of 75. Uh, the last fall, we sold out in less than two months. Um, so we saw the demand, so we planned accordingly. We built a second chicken tractor, and so then we ordered double the amount of chicks so that we're better prepared and have chicken available for our customers and ourselves for longer this time. So because we order chicks in larger quantities, we order from hatcheries online, and then they get delivered to the closest post office to us. Um, so usually in the morning we get a call, hey, your chicks are here, please come pick them up. Uh, you know, they're chirping in the post office. Um, so we try to get there as soon as we can. Um, and so then we bring them home and you know begin taking care of them. Um, if you're only wanting a few chicks though, there I'm sure there's like local stores you can get chicks from or just people that you know hatch small quantities or even like tractor supply um, and stuff like that. So about a day or so before we know our chicks are coming, we want to get everything set up. And so this is number one, you need a brooder. Um, so this is just a simple design with plywood. And then this is the lid that goes on top and then the chicken wire to protect from any predators getting inside. Um, so we have this under our carport. Um, if you didn't have it under a covering, um, you'd need to have a better lid to protect from the sun, rain, and all that. But basically, a brooder is just a clean, dry place, um, free of wind and the elements for your chicks. The second thing you need is wood shavings. So this keeps the ground dry and clean. It absorbs any moisture. And so we like to spread out a nice thick layer um, for the chicks. Uh, we replace and top off every day because Cornish cross chicks especially poop a lot. And so just adding a little fresh layer every day um, ensures that they have a clean, dry place um, to be living. So the third thing you need is a heat lamp. So chicks are fluffy and they don't have all their feathers yet and so they need help to stay warm. Um, so this heat lamp gives them that help. Uh, the Cornish cross chicks do grow their feathers pretty quickly. So we usually keep ours in the brooder for about two weeks. So the fourth thing you need is water and food. So we get our feed from a local farmer who grows most everything himself. We start them off on this 20% broiler feed and then around four weeks old, we switch them to a 17% uh, protein feed for the remainder of the time. So we just fill these up and again, fill them up every day pretty much. And then as they get bigger, we have a bigger feeder since they're eating more. So we like to space out the feeders the chicks are going to want to spend a lot of time in the beginning back there closer to the heat lamp. So that's why we kind of put them closer that way. And then we try to make it to where chicks can go on either side of the feeders just to maximize space. And uh, the more chickens that can eat at one time, the better. And so the fifth thing you need for raising Cornish cross chicks is actually going to be covered in another video. So it is the Joel Salatin style chicken tractor. So once they move out of this brooder and onto the grass, um, we'll do another video about how to care for them at that point. Um, and so hopefully tomorrow we'll get the call that the chicks are ready. And so we'll take you along as we go pick them up and unload them and bring them to their new home. All right, so the post office called late this morning, um, but I was heading to work, so I couldn't go and pick them up until just now. Um, but they are chirping along. Got them here in the front seat with me. <laughs> um, and so Lacey is ready to take a nap. So when I get home, I'm gonna put her down for a nap and then I'll show you how we unload and get them ready in the brooder. All right, home now. Got Lacey to sleep. 
change the shirt because it's kind of hot outside. And so I'm going to show you what the chicks come in and then show you what we do when we put them in the brooder. Uh, the lady at the post office was so kind to bring the boxes outside um, so I didn't have to go inside to get them. So that was really convenient and I was very thankful for that. This chick says, get me out of here. <laughs> So these are the boxes that the chicks come in. They've got the air holes so they can breathe. Um, and chicks are actually able to survive up to 72 hours because when they hatch, they absorb all the nutrients from the yolk. Um, but of course, the sooner the better you can get them in their brooder and get some water and feed, the better. So here they are. So what we like to do is dip some of their beaks in water so that they know that's where their water is. And then um, they will watch each other and learn that this is where their water is. It's so funny to watch chicks drink as they tilt their bed head back. <laughs> A lot of times I will count them, but this hatchery is really good about giving you one extra per 25 that you order. So that's really nice because it is inevitable you will lose some chicks. Some that maybe just aren't as hardy. Now sometimes if they play in it like that, we do have a brick that we can make the water go up a little bit higher. See, they're learning right along. So cute, like I said, watch them drink. <laughs> they're already beginning to explore. Running around, having a good time. <laughs> Excited to get out of this box, I'm sure. So that was the first 25. In each group, there's 25. So here's 100 more, <laughs> ready to meet their friends. Here they go eating. Very curious. Another thing they really like is shiny things. <laughs> they like to peck at my ring. So you were talking about feathers earlier, so I wanted to show you that these, they're, they grow so fast. They're, so they're already starting to get their little wing feathers. And so as we do some updates with these chicks, you'll see truly how fast they grow and how fast they grow their feathers. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to help us out. For whatever reason, they really like my feet. <laughs> they are pecking at my feet. And it feels so funny when they walk on top of my feet because <laughs> these shoes are kind of thin. So I feel their little feet. <laughs> So there's all 150 chicks, happy as can be, running around, eating, drinking, chirping. You can start to see how they're huddling under the heat lamp to just keep warm. Uh, it's abnormally warm here for February, but uh, if the temperatures dip, we can always add a second heat lamp um, over here on this side, just because there is so many, we don't want them to overly crowd underneath that one and trample each other and suffocate. Um, so we'll kind of watch the weather and add a second one if we need to. One way that you know if the brooder is too hot, because 
and you want to keep it warm but it is possible for it to be too hot if all the chicks are going to the corners and the edges of the brooder that means they're trying to get away from that heat lamp because it's too hot um, so that's another thing to look out for as far as temperature in the brooder so that concludes this video on how to prepare for Cornish cross chicks and just initial setup and caring for them. Stay tuned for future videos as they get bigger and as we move them to grass, uh, the next phase of how to take care of them. Thanks for watching, bye.